Welcome to the first part of my RC car project and this video is basically just going to be an introduction and an overview of what I'm trying to achieve here. This project is a little bit different to your standard sort of RC car project. What a lot of people would do is um, buy a kit. So you can buy awesome kits just off a shelf that come with all the parts you need. Uh, you hook it all up together and you're good to go. And that's the route most people will go down when it comes to buying an RC car. But what I want to do is create one from scratch. And what I mean by that is I want to use my own microcontroller and write the code that interfaces all this hardware together and actually makes the car its own embedded system. And that to me is super exciting. I really want to get the experience especially with the STM32. I've worked with other microcontrollers before but I haven't done too much on this board. What I like about it as well is once you've got all the hardware set up you can go on to create your own PCB designs and you literally will end up with your own little embedded system and I love that. Initially as I said it's going to be simple, it's going to be a rigid body design, nothing too complicated and the main focus initially is on the hardware so the first few parts of this series will be around the hardware. Uh, before I get on to any design I want to make sure that it's all compatible that this chip is able to communicate effectively with everything and that it's able to receive for example a radio signal and convert that then to output power for the motors and also steering for the servo so things like that and I'm going to take you through all of this in each part of the series so when the hardware is all done and I'm confident that it works we can then move on to the design process which will involve more of the CAD and the 3D printing so the initial body design is going to be rigid, it's going to be nothing fancy at all. I just literally want a chassis that I can mount all the hardware to and test it. I just want it to drive forwards and backwards, turn left and right, and at that point I'll be happy that this all works. And then I can really move on to creating some advanced designs in CAD and get experimental as well with the 3D printing. You know, I can try different materials. As I said, initially it's going to be simple, almost like a version 1 and then following parts to these videos will be version 2's, version 3's where I'm just adding extra things and I think this is going to be one of those projects where it's never really finished right it's just going to be that ongoing R&D process and I think it's going to be great so what I'll do now is I'm going to talk to you a bit about what you need to build an RC car in terms of components I'm going to walk you through all the components in front of me and just explain what each one is, why I chose it, and what role it plays in the overall system. So let's get straight to it. So what are the basic components required in order to build an RC car? Well, let's take a look. First up, we're gonna need a power source, and for this we can use batteries. This is a 1300 milliamp hour battery, and the number of batteries you require will depend on how long you want them to last and how much voltage your motors require. We're also gonna need a microcontroller, and this is the STM32F4, and you can basically think of this like the brain of the car. This will be interpreting the radio communication, deciding how much power is delivered to the wheels, the steering angle of the servo, and also it can run any control systems that we implement on the board. We're also gonna need some motors, and this is a 12 volt motor rated at 1000 RPM. This may or may not be fast enough, but for the initial design, it'll certainly be up to scratch. So I may upgrade them, we'll see how it goes. We're also going to need a way to directly apply power to the motors and to do this we can use something called a H-bridge. This is the L298N module and this basically receives PWM signals from the microcontroller which then determines how much power to apply to the motors. In order to steer the wheels what we're going to do is use something called a servo and again a servo receives PWM signals from a microcontroller and that basically allows you to control position by adjusting the duty cycle of a PWM signal. This is a four channel transmitter and we'll be using this to control the car. And this again is another entry level transmitter. Nothing fancy about it, they're quite cheap and it does the job. To determine what controls are being sent by the transmitter, we're also gonna need a receiver. This is a great little receiver, you can pick them up pretty cheap. And what we'll be doing is using the output signal for each channel and interface that with the STM32. And from there we can apply power to the servo and the motors. And of course we can't forget about our go faster wheels. These add twice the speed to any car and in all seriousness I've had these for a long time. They're awesome and I used them before on a balancing robot project. And basically that's it. They're all the components you need to build a simple RC car. 
And now we move on to the testing stage where we start putting some things together. And that's where I'll be back with the next video. So I'll see you then.